and recording take one let's try to do this in one take still working on editing good morning everybody welcome back to the pantheon of apollo i am apollo and we are going to do some pretty interesting stuff today i hope um quick disclaimer i've been working on this a lot more than i did the other stuff that i've been showing you guys and i'm still working on wrapping my head around the, the basics um it's actually a lot more complicated than I originally thought, um, but that's okay. We've got time. Um, I think the most important thing to keep in mind if you're going to do a 3D program, uh, digital art, or anything like that is this is not an overnight process. Um, no matter how good you're picking, I mean, I picked up on a lot of this stuff in the very beginning pretty, pretty easily, you know, I just, and then this is kind of the first big roadblock that I've hit in this process so i've learned a few things uh since monday i think monday was the uh was it tuesday i can't remember since the last episode um i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna open our sword in the stone project and this is where we left off now real quick one of the biggest things i've learned is i figured out the smooth shading i did this completely by accident um but if I highlight everything in object mode and right click, it's right here. It's right here. There, smooth shading. Boom. And you can see that right there. It smoothed everything out. It's nice. It looks more like rocks. And that's what we were going for the whole time. That That's exactly what we wanted. And I, I couldn't figure it out, but that's... That's the lesson that we've learned for this one. Um, now, today I really wanted to get started with textures. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new uh, scene. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all that. Then we're gonna just go ahead and insert a UV sphere, uh, scale that up a little bit or a lot of bit. Um, what am I gonna do? I'm going to take this to the sculpting mode, and then since I'm still working on learning my brushes, I'm going to just pop this out a little bit. There we go. A little bit like that. Um, let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just create another rock. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to just make another rock. Just, let's see, what was it? Um, F, there we go. Uh, where else did I learn that at? Um, we also want to turn off... Um, symmetry. That's where it is. Uh, so we're going to turn off the symmetry. And we're going to just... Go ahead and sculpt ourselves another rock. And I'll use this in our scene. But uh, I was having trouble with uh, practicing the, uh, what do you call it, materials and shaders. So the reason I was having so much trouble is uh, it uh, it's a lot to do. It's a lot to kind of wrap your head around. Um... Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on sculpting a rock. I think that might ought to do it. Uh, let's do a little bit more here. Let's go ahead and go back here. Let's kind of flatten that side out a little bit. Flatten this side out a little bit. That's a good looking rock, I think. All right. Now that we have a new rock, what I'm going to do... in this because why not I'm gonna go to the very first thing we have to do is we have to UV unwrap it now uh, this part <laughs> I, I have no idea if I'm doing this right I'm gonna be honest with you I've watched about 140 hours uh, that's that's a small exaggeration but um, I've watched a lot of how-to videos 
on UV unwrapping, and I it it got to the point where I'm telling you it was mind numbing because I understand the concept and what we want to happen, but why and how I it, I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push Shift Alt I think uh here and then shift alt here and that should go all the way around you can see that that selection by hitting shift alt it went all the way around so then what what does it be i'm gonna do control e i think yeah yes mark seam right here pow and see, this is what was happening to me earlier. Now, that's not right. That's not the way it's supposed to go. So, what am I going to do? Control Z, Control Z. Um, this is where I started running into a lot of problems. Um, let's go Shift Alt. Nope. There we go. Shift Alt. Nope. Yeah, see, this is where I started running into a ton of problems, because nowhere have I been able to find this. This is this is where I think these videos are going to help a lot of people out. There, see. Now, what I did is I switched it to line segment rather than the vertices select. So now I got a nice clean line, this red line, all the way through. Now, this is where I, I, I just don't know. I have no clue. Um, um, this is where I've been working on. Whoops, that actually worked. All right, so here's my UV unwrapped image, I guess. Um, I'm not sure, oh wait, there's a whole hole missing, there we go, there's still a hole missing, let's do unwrap, I'm still missing a hole, where is it at, where is this at, oh, I guess that's fine. So I'm going to select all, I'm going to grab it, nope, come on, and see that's, I don't understand that, unwrap, I don't understand why. Yeah, and see, this is, again, where I've been having all my problems. Um, image. Save. Uh, let's do texture. Okay, so the image is still there. You can see it there. So what I did is I switched over to texture. Um... And this is what you get in the texture painter. Now, to my understanding, when you UV unwrap a three-dimensional object, what's happening is this rock, this boulder, this meteorite, whatever it is, is, for lack of a better term, a big sphere. That's all it is, is a modified sphere. I might have done some things to it, but it's just a sphere. So what I did is I created a seam to where you can take that sphere and translate it from a three-dimensional object to a two-dimensional object. Now, someone on the Facebook group, the Blender Help for Absolute Beginners, is a great resource if you're going to be doing this. Um, I just highly recommend joining the group and then kind of just be quiet for a while because... While they are a great resource, there's a lot of people who tend to ask some very 
certain slow questions and take some time to go through their posts and just watch for a while before you jump right in because there's a lot of unspoken rules i guess i don't know that's with everything though even youtube i've been learning the unspoken rules of youtube and stuff like that all right so this is where i like i said i'm still lost i don't know if i'm doing this right all the way up to this point um I don't, I don't know if I'm doing it right. So what we're going to do now is uh, – no, I don't want that. No, I still don't want that. Oh, well, it's not hurting me, I guess. All right, anyway. We want materials, no textures. So, the, where do we want to go? Hmm. Whoops. Materials. Uh, I know it's in here somewhere. Wait, was that it? No, that's not it. Add modifier. Wait, was that it? No. Alright. Wait. Here? I think I'm doing this right. Um. What's this? Texture. No, I'm not doing this right at all. Oh, man. See, this is where I get lost. Because... This isn't how it's supposed to go. Hmm. Texture slots. Maybe this is it. Base color. For Okay, I think this might be better to do it this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. I'm going to select a good bouldery gray color, I guess. And yeah, I guess that's fine. And then... And then... Hit, okay. So now we got a gray bouldery color, I guess. Um, whoops. Um, hmm. Texture slots. And then texture. Hmm. Shade. Yeah, see, uh, shading. Yeah, this is all way outside my ability. Way outside. Um, first of all, let's go back to this smooth shading. Let's go back to here. There we go. It is a little bit dark, so what I'm going to do is go back to texture. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't know how to change it. There. Let's see if that looks better. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And then... This is, again, I, this is frustrating to me because this is not, why is this up? Why, 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 there. Annotate. 
patience. I don't know. I don't know why that's here, but I don't want it. Anyway, I, I've been struggling with this since I started working on it. This is where I get stuck, right here. You know, I, I get to this point, and that's where it stays, is because... Why is this... Why is any of this here? This has never been here before. Alright. So, what we're going to try to do is let's change this to Shade Editor. And let's this is going to be way more advanced than I'm capable of doing. This material base color, okay. We're going to learn this together. Uh, subsurface. Um, base color. What's this base color for? Oops. Move this over here. I don't know. Hmm. All right. So this is, like I said, this is where I get stuck because I haven't really found Eevee. Um, I definitely want to use Eevee. All right. So. I'm not seeing any changes here. Maybe it's because this over here, something's messed up over here. Uh, material one, use nodes. Maybe that's what I gotta do. I can see it changing. Hmm. So, yeah, we're pretty much going to do a whole video of me playing with stuff and not actually accomplishing anything. Base color, let's change that to gray. Um, uh, what's this do? Oh, okay. All right, so new... Let's do here, let's do that, so this is the same as all this, I guess, use nodes, maybe, um, oh, come on, hmm. I guess I don't want metallic up for rocks. Um, uh, yeah, see, uh, this is the part where I don't understand. Because this is our principled shader, I think. I think that's what this is. That's why it's principled. Yeah, right there, it's labeled principled shader. Material output... Maybe volume? Uh, let's, I want to do EV. I know that. Um, ba 
base color Is there an apply button? Hmm. See, there's so much here. There's so much here to learn, to figure out. This is this is why I've been having such a hard time doing this episode for you guys and figuring it out is because there is so much here. I mean, look at all this. This is absolutely insane amount of information. And I'm not sure exactly how to fit it all together. No matter how many times I watch videos cuz it doesn't make sense to me. Um, blend mode opaque. Subsurface translucency. Screen space reflection. See, there's just so much here. And I haven't really had a whole lot of time to get into it and actually work with it like I, I'm not sure why my materials not being added new material 3 um, let's go here let's darken that down that works like is there a apply button Let's do metallic 100% or 1.0 and see what that does. Um, hmm. Let's see, nothing's changing, so... Am I doing it wrong? Am I doing it right? Uh, and this is where I am completely stuck. Because... Because, I mean, our rock's starting to look good. It's got a good color to it. And then... Oh yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna file, save, um, Apollo pictures that works. Um, I'm gonna name it. Uh, R O C K, Rock One. Rock one blend, and that's what it's saved as. Save Blender file. All right. So then I'm gonna go open. I'm gonna I wanna try something. I'm gonna open Sword. Um, I forgot to smooth, leave smooth shading on. Let's save that with smooth shading. And then I wanna import. What if I wanna import? What? How, how would I do that? That's going to be something uh, import, maybe? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, see, I don't know. Um, no window. 
that's the other thing I gotta figure out, because I know, I know you can, yeah, see, I really don't, I really just don't know, because I would really like to learn how to, you know, import separate objects into, because, I mean, I, I, I really wish I could just, I don't know, do it all separately, I guess. Let's go texture painter. See, why is that the only thing that's, let me go back to layout. Um, I know you guys can't see it when I do this, but Yeah, we're at 26 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for now. I'm going to keep working on this, you guys, and try to figure it out. I don't have any delusions that it's going to be an overnight process. I don't think this is going to be a quick process. Um, but let's go rock. As you can see, this is, this is our rock, and we haven't really done anything worthwhile and it's been 30 minutes already um substance painter i i this is where i'm getting overwhelmed um edit mode no texture paint this is where i i just don't understand the system i guess what if I don't use nodes? What if I change base color? Go down here. Um, is there material? Let's delete that. Save this. Um. This, like I said, this is this is as far as I got, and I was really trying to figure out more what to tell you guys as far as having some really cool, you know. But I guess I'm having trouble because uh, the videos that I were watching, the videos that I was watching, if I want to be grammatically more correct. All he did was play with these right here, and it automatically changed stuff. But it's not working here. Oh. So, I'm going to go through and watch some more how-to videos and try to give you guys a better idea of what comes next. Because once you get to this point... Like I said, this is where I got stuck. So, uh, like I said, I really wanted something better for this video. I was hoping to be able to come through and just make it all happen real fast and just didn't happen. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video for now. I'm going to keep working on this. Um... This is how far we've gone. Um, I guess the big lesson for this one is uh, if your setup is the same as mine, then your right click is your smooth shading. So, what's this? No, I ain't playing with that. Nah. Not playing with it. Um, but anyway, so this is where we're at. We did smooth shading. We learned how to do a little bit of coloring. We learned how to do the beginning of UV unwrap. Um, now the UV unwrap, excuse me. Wow. Like I said, I, I've been having a little bit of trouble with that. Uh, UV unwrapping my sword, uh, has proven to be rather difficult. Um, maybe I don't want this smooth. Maybe I want, 
Yeah, I think flat shading for the sword would be better. So I think that looks a little bit better. Let me check the rendered. Again, I can't. I know you guys can't see the rendered image because it opens up a new. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Uh, maybe if I do this. But then that does that, so I'm not sure why. There we go. That's the button we needed. This is the rendered image, a closer view of it, actually. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be our uh, lessons for the, for the week. We're going to just go ahead and leave it at that. Um, I'm going to work on this a lot more for you guys and try to bring you guys some actual textures because I want to, uh, like I said, I want to do grass. I want to do maybe some moss on these rocks. You know, just to give it a little bit more character, give it a little bit more more there than just blah. Um, so that's what we're going to do for next time. So thank you guys for dropping in. Uh, remember to leave any comments that you might have, questions, comments, concerns, down below in the comment section. Feel free to check me out at Twitter, and I'll link that below. Feel free to check me out on Facebook at the Pantheon of Apollo. Join the group. If you're an artist and you want to follow along or post your own stuff, then feel free. Until next time, ah, I'm going to go. I might go take a nap or something. I don't know. we got to take the kids to the park. But until next time, uh, thank you guys for dropping in, and I hope to see you again real soon.